Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum Magnetic Reversal News update Sunday, March 14th, around 11 p.m. Mountain Time, 2021. Now, we have long been reporting on the effects of geomagnetic storms on human health. And a new paper has come out in Russia. The possible effects of space weather factors on various physiological systems of the human organism. And at the same time, extreme event magnetic storm probabilities derived from rank statistics of historic DST intensities for solar cycles 14 through 24. So we have the data on the periodicity of what is coming. And we have now a fine-tuned scale. It appears as if a 34-year-old year cycle happens between major storms. The 1859 major storm, the Carrington event, followed by the 1882 storm. These are geomagnetic storms, followed by the 1922, 1921 major storm, and the 1956 major storm, and the eight, 1989 major storm up in Quebec. And the most recent storms have a 33-year periodicity, and we are at the cusp for the next event. Now, we, if you watch the channel, you know geomagnetic storm in the KP index is directly correlated to human health. When we're in the zero or the KP zero cosmic ray alerts, we look for the cosmic ray risks, acute myocardial infarction, cerebral stroke, terminal arrhythmia, anxiety, stress, emotional instability, cognitive diminution, suicide risk, mental disorder, radiation risk at high latitudes if you're flying. But what about the risks when we're in geomagnetic storm? Those are these risks here in the first column. And there is a paper coming out from Russia on the possible effects of space weather factors on various psychological systems of the human organism. And we have the full paper for you. But tonight we're just going to go over the discussion and the conclusion to keep it short. A general overview of the presented results allows us to note Several points. Studies carried out in recent years fundamentally confirm earlier conclusions attained in the 1990 studies. Increased morbidity on days of magnetic storms in patients and increased blood pressure in healthy people. So if you're in geomagnetic storm and you feel a little pumped up, well, it's proven. Increased blood pressure in healthy people. A delay in the possible biologic response population or organism for zero to four days from the storm beginning. That means these effects can last for days. A specific and nonspecific reaction to geomagnetic storms. A nonspecific reaction occurred as general adaptation syndrome, typical for reaction to the effects of an external factor causing stress, such as physical and psycho-emotional overload. A specific reaction occurred as a change in vascular tone, which is typical for myotropic reactions. The probable involvement of melatonin in the formation of the body's response. This is what caused some people not to sleep during these events. The significant variability of individual responses has been confirmed. Now, the hypothesis that the geomagnetic field is an evolutionary condition external synchronizer of the biologic rhythm may be true. And geomagnetic storms likely cause a breakdown of the rhythm, which would cause you to maybe not sleep so well during geomagnetic storms. Or maybe if you're a female, maybe have an effect on your reproductive system, perhaps. Now, new evidence has appeared to support the hypothesis, hypothesis that geomagnetic pulsations can directly affect human biological rhythms. At the same time, it cannot be concluded from the existing results that it is precisely special frequencies that are close to certain biological rhythms that are biotropic. Now, from my experience and my partner's experience and many others, they are, people are affected by geomagnetic storms. And it, either they're not sleeping or they sleep or they're restless or something's happening. Now, something is happening. And we tried to post some information over on Oppenheimer Ranch Project tonight, an interview I did with some community members. 
and we got a community guideline strike because we interviewed some community members here in Pagosa Springs. As the CDC report admits the truth, we're not allowed to speak it in public, but you can speak it over in Healthy and Wise, a private group from the members that I interviewed earlier. And Ransom was going to try to go live with this, but they took it down, just like they took us down. Now, we are banned from posting for seven days on Oppenheimer Ranch Project, which means a huge hit to our bottom line. And they know this. And this is how censorship works in an oligarchy where the masters control you and control the information you can spread. Now, I can assure you that this interview was simply me reporting on the facts in my community, which is not allowed these days. And that's quite unfortunate. So if you want to join some of the truth seekers, join us over at Healthy and Wise Pagosa. And Ransom is going to be on his eighth channel after he tried to upload the video that got us taken down. These are the sign of the times. All the videos in the next seven days that I'll be posting will be here on Magnetic Reversal News because I can't post them anywhere else. We currently have the banned video up on Facebook, Rumble, BitChute. No, actually it failed there and failed on library. That's how bad it's getting. We can't even put this video up on alternative sites. It's disgusting. The world we're living in is crumbling. And it's all happened since the new oligarch put up a giant razor wire fence around the capital in our supposed free country of America. It's disgusting. And I won't stand for it. Will you? I'm livid. And I don't even know where to go from here.